Hi, I'm photographer David Flores, and today we're going to be testing out Nikon's brand new D850, a camera that promises to bring together the ultimate in image quality and resolution with speed, both frame rate and autofocus. And there's also some professional video features in here as well. We're going to put it through its paces, see what it's all about. Okay, so we just finished shooting some portraits outside with natural light and inside with Nikon's SB5000s. The camera is incredibly fast in single point autofocus. If you're a portraitist or you shoot headshots, you're gonna love this performance. Very, very similar to what you see in the D5 with the exception of a larger optical viewfinder. There's more magnification here so you can see everything that you're doing, top, bottom, left, and right. Uh, one of the things that I wound up using today a lot more than I thought I would is the capacitive touch LCD screen on the back of the camera. You can use this uh, for the usual suspect features, being able to scroll through your photographs, pinch to zoom for critical focus. But if you move your finger to the edge of the screen, you can also use it to scroll through a large quantity of images. So if you're an event shooter or a sports shooter, maybe you're a runway shooter, this is a great way to choose your selects and know that you've got the critical shot. Right, one of my favorite things about using the capacitive touch screen is in parallel with the radio-controlled SB5000 flashes. With your finger, you can change the mode of the flashes, going from TTL to manual and back again, and you can scroll power up and down in third stop increments. All right, so make no mistake, the brand new 45.7 megapixel backside illuminated sensor creates sick files, extremely high quality files, extremely large file size, which historically has not gone well with high frame rate cameras. That's where this gets a little bit different. The D850 body by itself can shoot up to seven high resolution RAW plus JPEG images. When you add the optional grip in an EN, EL, 18A or B battery, you can get that up to nine frames per second. So can you pair a super high resolution file with a very fast frame rate? Absolutely. All right, another item on here, autofocus speed. When we were shooting portraits outside and inside with single point AF, we were getting amazing results, on par with what you'd find in the D5. And I'm happy to report that with continuous autofocus, you're getting much of the same result. We had our dancer come at us natural light on a single plane, and we were able to keep our subject in focus moving forward and backward at medium and high speeds. Second thing we tried was autofocus using the flashes. So we used the SB5000 flashes, did some jumps, autofocus was pinpoint accurate just about every time. So I really like what I'm seeing here. One of the things I like to do on a shoot, if I see something where we can do something spontaneous, have some fun, it's there. And she created a series of lines on this chalkboard here. And we talked about you know finding a way to match a portrait with those lines. And, and that's what we're doing here. Uh, for compression, I like a longer lens. You know, in the portrait range, I usually shoot with uh, something that's a little bit longer than uh, the standard 85 millimeter. And Nikon's uh, 105 is very quickly becoming one of my favorite portrait lenses. Lens is super sharp and you know, as you'd expect here, it's just fantastic. All right, one of the sweet features uh, on the TA50 is the touch screen is actually very angled. So you can pull it out and you can tap to focus and tap to shoot. So just touch, there's our shot. You know, if you prefer to use a standard shutter release, you can tap here, turn the touch shutter off. So when you touch, it'll just focus for you. And you can move that focus point anywhere you like. The lens is automatically gonna focus for me. And then when I'm ready to shoot, I can press the shutter button and we're gold. You can be really spontaneous when you shoot. I can just fire up the live view, hold the camera out in front of me, touch the focus, and there, I've got the shot. I found this to be a really invaluable tool, especially if you're somebody that likes to be spontaneous on a set, um, or if you have like a really hard angle to get to and you need to get there very, very quickly. All right, so 4K video, the D850 does it two different ways. You can use the full width of the sensor, which downsamples to 4K. Uh, that's the FX mode. You can also go in and shoot DX 4K. There's a little bit of a crop. That can be an advantage. Like if you need a longer, more telephoto type of shot, more reach, that's fantastic. 
HD, you get it in flavors of 24, 25, and 30. There's even an in-camera slow motion feature. Overcranking your footage into slow motion is awesome, up to 120 frames per second. And this is all in-camera. There's nothing to conform, no weird frame rates or processes to go through. Take the file right off of the card, drop it right into your timeline beautiful, lyrical, visual poetry. There's even an 8K time-lapse feature that uses an internal intervalometer that allows you to make up to 9,999 frames, going from a half second or even longer. So here I am setting up the studio in beautiful 8K. Now, obviously, you're not watching 8K there at home, but all the movement that you see, the pans, the zooms, the tilts, any kind of fake jib shot, you can affect all of that from the comfort of your nonlinear editor. So that's our first look at the brand new Nikon D850. Join us on August 28th. We'll be hosting a live stream with a panel of expert photographers and image makers looking at the features and just having a nice round table discussion about the camera. I'm photographer David Flores. See you next time.